So now go through the last part about UDIM import. So as I said, there's different elements you can import, and uh, when you can, when you use a UDIM, uh, there's a lot of expression inside to just reduce the framing between 1001 and the end of your UDIM node to uh, start from one only. Like that, uh, the system will be more able to manipulate with frame hold and UV tile how the UDIM have to be spread out as texture on the CG render, uh, on the CG object. But um, I have to show you something very important. We will go uh, at the end of my um, UDIM, so as you know, I uh, have a lot of texture, and I will just put uh, on my object the famous multi-texture and as you see there is a big issue you have two possibilities how the object is wrong or nuke going wrong unfortunately it's not possible that the object because uh, the object goes through the whole CG department so maybe the issues come from nuke and I will show you something to check I will just take a checkerboard and I will add the checkerboard to my object. And as you see, there is a problem to display the UV. But I know my, my UV is, is right. So why we see that? Unfortunately, the problem comes from Nuke 13. On Nuke 13, you have a new uh, renderer, a new 3D engine called Hydra. Don't say hi, Hydra. That's not really fun. Um, the, possibility, the, the problem with Hydra is it does not work correctly with, uh, with UDIM and UV. So if I go back to Nuke render, strangely, uh, the UV is still wrong, but the UDIM is now correct. So uh, we have to, to take a look on this. So we just show you the difference, Hydra and Nuke. And as you see now with the... Uh, with a new CG render, uh, the render is simply perfect. As you see, that's correct, and uh, every UDIM is placed. Second point about UV. Maybe you will have uh, to uh, project some element on a CG object, and this object will contain CG uh, UDIM. So, for example, in my case, I just show you. I, I just uh, project a checkerboard on a cube. That's not so crazy, but if you want to unwrap the cube, the cube contains UDIM, you will use a Skyline render, and on the Skyline render, you can just uh, not uh, show what is the render through a camera, but you can show what is the render by UV. And this is what's happened. Uh, you see the projections to one UDIM. And maybe you want to see this uh, through a different UV and UDIM tile. And to do this, there is a way. I will just use a UV tile. And my UV tile contains a number as a UDIM. And if I play with this, as you see now, I saw, I'm seeing the different faces through the UDIM. So that's pretty important to know this trick when we use projection on a CG object who contain UDIM. You have to use the UV tile to select your right UDIM to be able to use the scanning render. And uh, if you want to do this, uh, for example, I will stay to a UDIM of 1. So I have now... Uh, I have to duplicate... That's that not so <laughs> uh, easily handled, but you will learn to, to use it. So now I have a different Skyline Wonder who take the different projection together. I will be able to use uh, this system from the UDIM import to link every texture. I oh, know that's normal. Um, so uh, I have just to explain uh, as the same as the UV tiles for every node. So that means I have to do this again. And that's work. 
So as you see, um, I use the Scanline Wonder to uh, have a flat UV. So with this trick now, I will be able, for example, to uh, take a look, for example, on uh, this, this one seems cool. So I will paint something on it. Yeah, and now, yeah, that's work. So that's all, folk, about uh, expert trick on the UDIM import.